Hey there, it's me, Chris, and today, guys, we are going to be doing what we usually do, and that's watch movies. I'm wearing the blue shirt. Woo, that's a really blue shirt. It is quite blue. Mm -hmm. I'm here with this guy. Hey, it's me, Curtis, a.k.a. King Lynch Pierce, a.k.a. <sighs> Bill Different, a.k.a. Chubby Rain, himself in the flesh. I am here, and today we are going to do, as he just mentioned previously, we're going to watch some fucking movies. And we also got a special guest. Special guest here is Mugwai. Look at her. Very cute, very robust. Wow, Mugway's in season this year. She's beautiful. Please subscribe to the channel. All subscriptions go to getting Mugway more food. Yes, it goes, all your money goes to Feed a Mugway Foundation. All right, a very good and generous foundation that needs... I do not see a single penny. It's all for the dog. The dog gets it all, all right? The dog lives very well. We do not. No, we are dying. But hey, positive news, we got more lighting. That's why we look brighter today. Wow, thanks, Kenneth. Kenneth from the Patreon, fucking awesome guy. He is. He sent us Amazon, like, gift, gift cards, cards yeah. for our birthday, and there was a nice amount there. Again, thank you, Kenneth. You're a really generous person. For a surprisingly, a, a really good amount in there that took us off guard, and we're like, fuck it, we're going to go and get some lighting and get a little bit of, you know, improving the quality. So if you want to thank anybody, don't thank us. Never, thank, th never thank us. Never thank us. Fuck us, man. Okay? We don't do shit. We don't do jack shit. Thank Kenneth Steele. This guy is a god amongst men. Say thank you, Kenneth, in the comments down below. Yes. And also, thank you to guys that joined the Patreon. There's a lot of you now. Like, I think over the past couple days, just a bunch of people joined randomly. I was like, shit. But um, do know that we will be doing a lot more with the Patreon and content in the future. I promise you guys It's going to happen next year. So, you know, just bear with us. Be patient. Next year, uh, we're taking things up a notch. You're going to see a lot of new stuff happening, more excitement. It's going to be a great time, and I'm super excited for it. But let's get into the movie today. We're going to be watching Barbershop. Oh. I want to watch a movie that makes me laugh. You know, I've been having a hard-ass week. Shit kind of sucks. I need some laughter in my life. All right, fair enough, fair enough. We're going to get some laughter in We're going to get some laughter. All right. So that's what we're hopping into right now, guys. I hope you're all having a great week, year, month, second, minute? Kilometer? I don't know. Kilometer? Mile? I've never had a good kilometer in years. Oh, God. But, yeah, that's it, guys. We're going to hop into the movie right now. So, uh, Mugwai, attack the camera. Get him. All em. right, Mugwai, look at them. Look at them. Sick them, Mugwai. Sick them. Oh, huh. What? I said she a hoe. Huh? Come on, let's do it. She a hoe? No, no, no. Who's a hoe? I think said hold up, not a hoe. I... She a hoe. I think mean, it's shit hold up. Oh, I thought said she a hoe. Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck are they doing? And you see she I said Linda is a I told you she oh he beat his ass with a bag of chips! Wait, are they gonna Is this like the chain around the ATM? Are you serious? Classic. Hey, this ain't Chris What the hell? Oh my god! No fucking way! No. Wow. They just lost their bumper though. I don't think they gave a shit. They got an ATM. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Shit, man. It's just about to get good. Trying to get this studio together so we can finally make some money off this stuff. Well, that's what you said about the t-shirt company. And knows Herbalife vitamins. Why uh -oh. you gotta bring that up? Oh, the Herbalife. That's in the past. Okay. See, look. Yeah, yeah see picture. That, that right there is Oprah's guest house. Whoo, baby. That's just the guest, guest house? So if Stedman act up, this is where he gotta sleep. Because that's what I'm gonna buy for my baby. Ooh. It's seven o'clock. You're gonna be late for work. You better come on. I got some eggs for you. You better come eggs. on. Eggs! Damn, she got eggs? I fucking love eggs. Yo, man, she's a keeper. Oh, I am with you. You know your father would have been proud of you too. Come here. Damn. Damn those are some nice sweet words. Oh damn, this thing's like falling apart. Oh my god, it sounds like a gunshot. <laughs> Jesus. Holy fuck. That's the store that got robbed. Yo, bruh. Oh shit. Stay strong, bruh. Oh man. That's not gonna fucking help him. No. 
she knows everything. Wait. Oh no. Did the power went out? Dude, man, him and lights don't get along. Hey, 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 Calvin. How you doing? Fine, how you doing? I'm all right, good to see you. Hey, what happened across the street? Man, you know, this neighborhood is getting worse every day, too. No. Calvin, I need a cut. Like how you did Ronnie last week. A little off the top, long in the back, but not quite no shag. Slope to the left like Gumby. Eddie Monster in the front. Like, <laughs> like Gumby? <laughs> like fucking Gumby. Come on, Calvin, man, money. don't do me like that, dog. Oh, Come on, oh, man, don't edge do that. I don't cut hairs for free. Well, out of the man, door. Calvin, 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 your father would've hooked me up. Go get hooked up. Oh, come on, dog. Oh, don't do shit. me like that, Calvin. That was rough. Dang. I have to deal with every day. No, uh... no. get out of here. Go. But if you don't pay the property taxes, the bank is going to foreclose on the shop. I'm sorry. Oh, boy. There's nobody you can talk It's not going to happen. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it? Bro, it's hard not to worry, but okay. That's your livelihood right there. How'd you do this for 40 years? 40 years, man. That's impressive. It's a long time. Oh, we gonna get paid. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, I never knew money could be so good. <laughs> 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 Oh, oh, hell no, man. <laughs> Come on, man. This thing heavy, man. Dude, how is he getting it? This all the time. Wow. Dude, that's so mean. What is wrong with you? Why didn't you answer the door? You know it was me. Tay, I worked a double last night. I just got home two hours ago. Don't play with me, Kevin. Yeah, I wouldn't have answered the door either. Look, hey, let's not Fuck, do this man. again, Tay. Where Come on now. Wait, wait, so you ain't finished in here yet? Why don't you look under the bed? Yeah. Real quick, come on. Oh, no. okay. Real quick. Let me take my jacket. Oh. Like that? Oh, yeah, it's like that. All right, well, let me take my jacket. Oh. Who is she? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, come on. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to work. Where are you going? Nowhere. I get up. I get up. Oh, I get up. Shit. <laughs> shit. Damn. Right, okay. Tough man. Now I want a grande, triple non fat, half decaf. Half decaf? What the fuck is half decaf? A hazelnut. Okay? Respect. Orange extract. Wait. The extra foam in a separate cup. Put the spooner on myself because y'all never get it right. What kind of complex sorry, ass dude. order? With an order like that, dude, just go fuck you yourself. To... Yeah, go honestly. Straight up, man. Know what I'm saying? Ass so big, look like two ninjas in a sleeping bag. What? We talking about some money, big fat juicy ass. Oh, yeah. What the fuck? But why? Man, ass is like money. You can never have too much. Okay. Words of wisdom. Words of wisdom. These boys on your philosophy, cause I is the ratio, right? All right. Now, if you measure around a woman's uh waist, right? Then you measure around that ass. You come up with a ratio about. Three, five, okay. Right? okay. Yeah. No, 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 that's no, that is correct. He's an ass God damn. Jennifer Lopez. Do not drink hey, me. Have any idea who uh, poked that hole in Samir's store? No. You sure about that? Just playing with you, man. Relax. Why do they seem so hostile? Yeah, there's like something between them or whatnot. Uh, I hope you don't use that to cut hair. A little off the top, bang! Ricky here? Oh, uh, no, Ricky been keeping his nose clean ever since he's been working here. Is this chair free? Yeah, I figured not. I'm just trimming me up a little bit. Trim up what? What's it to trim? The eyebrows? That's what I was thinking. Ooh. Dude, don't fuck with the guy cutting your hair. Yep. It's Big the... mistake. 
I will know something. You understand? Incredibly disrespectful. God damn. Hello, my Just sing. Hey. What? Mind your business. Damn, he told you, man. And where I come from, to have girth is a sign of opulence. They circumcised the women, too. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Excuse me? What? What kind of conversation? Hey, don't you make me put. What's wrong? You want them rappers? What you got? You got a Rolex or something? You got on your Eddie. You got a platinum chain? Eddie, leave them boys alone. Sit your old ass down. You all right? Chugga, chugga, I had him in it. He's shaking like booty meat. What is that? I had him. Boy, I had him shaking like God knows what he's talking Now, I need him right now. Oh, oh, oh. You smell good, God damn. Uh oh. Where you going? Man, you see that attitude? She can't cut my hair like that, man. I'll be back later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, nice. We got some flowers. Oh, never mind. Who drank my apple juice? Uh-oh. Oh, no. Did you? What did, did you, you see, say, me drink? man? I said I didn't have to see you drink it, man. You no, know, but you see me drink it. <laughs> yeah, oh shit! It. What did you see? Say you ain't drink it. You ain't drink it. Drink it? Did Knock you? his college oh, ass out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let him go. DVDs, CDs, nah. Yeah, baby, whatever you want to wear, Chris Dow, whatever you want. Bad timing, bro. Bad timing. Baby, he's going out. You trying to put somebody out, man? Go always. Never Did you drink my apple juice? Nope. Payal, answer, done deal. Come on. Hey, man, let me buy you some apple Case closed. Case closed. Well, one of y'all MFs drank it. I'm tired of y'all, I swear. Y'all better not touch my stuff no more. Stop slamming them doors. I can't blame her, man. If someone drank my shit, too. Mm. Oh, it'll whoop the entire fucking barbershop's ass, dude. Exactly. Every single one of them. Hey, you lock your door? Yeah, man, ain't stupid. Come oh. on. Why your sister in the room, man? Ooh, I'm a tail mama. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, what? Oh, what? The door's open. Close that shit. This ain't nothing but a big video game. No, it ain't. It looks like a cash machine. Yeah, that's a big-ass Nintendo. God damn. Whoop a ass. You ain't gonna touch me. I whoop a ass. What? <laughs> Yo, whoa. You can give my money God damn. It's just a little girl, bro. Take it, girl. That's all oh, I got. Oh, okay. Get on. <laughs> what? what the fuck? Like door, dog. That's how you lock the door. <laughs> I can't believe you so actually fault, kicked man. <laughs> What the fuck? You wouldn't be doing this had you locked the door. No, 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 no. Why is there a spatula? You tried to open it with a fucking spatula. <laughs> oh, my God. oh shit, he's back. Oh no. Oh, come on, man. Oh fuck, no, I wouldn't fight this man. Dude, why can't he wait? Oh man! Bro, he don't give a shit, man. Oh fuck, dude, the staircase. Bro, let him go, he has a whopper. Oh my god! Oh. I think it's Keith David. Ah, oh, I love him. Oh my god. Eddie, nigga. Damn. You know, Calvin, I'm glad you called me back, man. That's beginning. I told you, I'm a man of my word. You know, Calvin, if you can't make the payments, you're gonna lose the shop and have nothing. Or if you sell it to me, you make sure that the sign outside on that window always says barbershop. That sounds way too good to be true. So I'm gonna turn it into a gentleman's club. Wait a minute. Uh -oh. Wait a minute. That's not what we discussed, Mr. Wallace. Now you told me that the sign outside would always say barbershop. Oh. Oh well. Oh, well. 
It's gonna be oh called God. The Barbershop. I'm gonna keep that same theme going. You know, the girls dressed up like little barbers, and uh, you can come in. <sighs> Shit. Oh my God. Oh no, what are these kitty, kitty. doing? Is there, is there punk, Jay? Ah! Jay? Dude, his fucking foot! Dude, his foot just bent at the ankle. Oh my god, dude, that 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 looked gruesome, dude. I did not look like how that looked. <laughs> What, what the fuck in his ass for? He owe me five dollars from a crap game. Man, I ain't paying your ass nothing. What? You Man! stole a fucking ATM. Man, you are five dollars. How stupid can you be? Bring your ass back over here. Five dollars. Five dollars. You gonna cause a scene in public for five dollars? They owe me money. A pug! It's too late. What's with the dogs? Get man? them dogs out of here. You like dogs. You still with old boy? Oof. You get this one half off. Don't come back, man. <laughs> what? He's so cute. Quick the pug. First he's selling DVDs and now he's selling dogs? He's he's hustling, man. I don't know what the fuck he's doing, but he's he's doing it. Janelle called me and said that she saw Lester Wallace in here. Why Janelle won't stay on my business? Since when God, did you start doing business her. with a loan shark like Lester Wallace? Lester Wallace is not a loan shark. Really? Baby, he's just a businessman from the street. Okay, but baby, baby, why was he here? To get a haircut. Calvin, Lester Wallace wears a hairpiece. Oh, oh. shit. <laughs> the hairpiece fade? No. All right, cool. <laughs> I'm going to show you something. Gonna he tried. The hairpiece fade. <laughs> This is for us. No, it us. isn't. Yes. Nope. Tell me something. <clears throat> Why is it you make all these spontaneous decisions and then we gotta get us out of it? Dang. What they saying? Something about a monkey coming back, but his ass has too much pressure. What? <laughs> Wait, a monkey's coming back with too much pressure Shit. on his ass? <laughs> you deserve more than this. This shop had very little debt until you started spending all the money on those get rich quick schemes. Yeah. Oh, it's my oh. fault. No, let me hear you say it. It's my fault. Well, yeah, it's your fault. How is it my fault? And I'm just trying to better myself. Wait a minute. I see what this is about. This is about you. Oh, okay. There's more than just history here, then. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a big mistake, too, just doing it, not consulting her. It's like, it's still like, couldn't hear nothing. You're, yeah. you're, if you're, like, to together, you're married and shit, like... You gotta communicate, right? Yeah. Damn, I mean, you need a band aid, man. I'm gonna go get Damn, that thing a band aid. A band aid. I'll go get the band aid. Cause you can't seem to do nothing right. <laughs> Just stay here. Open the ATM. Oh, I need some cocoa butter. Cocoa butter? I get that. Excuse me. You need a lot more than a band aid. Oh, 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 fuck. I think he broke the bed. <laughs> yeah. Dude, man, get these nose hairs. Fuck. You ain't got my money. I'm gonna get them ass hairs for you. No, I'm not. Yes, oh, oh shit! Come on, of course, I'm fucking run, run. <laughs> Dude, he was so slick with that too. He waited for the perfect time and. Come on! Don't bring your skinny ass back. What bitch did you let? This guy's a fucking idiot. The money. Don't do that. What's my mama code? Using that the people who stole my ATM will not get any money out of it. Oh yeah, you can't break into those things. Because there is no money in it. It is brand new. It had not even been loaded yet. It's no money. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a trip. How much no. are you for this? No, 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 no. Put your money away. You take this. This is for you. What else can I have? No, 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 can I get some? Can. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm gonna do. Thanks to you. 
to get some 25s. Did he just... And you the reason why. Did he just light the trash on fire? Yeah. Dude, they're you stupid, like and then there's this guy. Up, but I'm gonna get... There's no fucking way he... Oh, God. What? Oh, fuck, that's gross. Help me. Somebody help me. Damn. Oh, no. Hey, She's walking into a fucking door. battlefield here. It's the manager. Open the door. What the hell is that smell? Man, I got diarrhea. Die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Here. Oh, my God. And there's no money in there. Okay. Who the hell is Rosa Parks? Oh, Who's couple, Rosa couple. Parks? She's only the founder of the modern yeah, civil rights movement. What? What? Because she sat her ass down on the bus? Come on, Eddie. You know who Rosa Parks is. Man, she was tired. Then what you do when you're tired? You sit your ass down. Computers. <laughs> what the fuck is he back again? Is that a satellite now? It's a satellite you dish. Sit down. You need to hear this too. Sit down, Rayford. Now, now, I probably wouldn't say this in front of white folk. Rosa Parks ain't do nothing but sit her black ass down. Oh. That's a hot take right He's there. He's got a man. hot take. Mm -hmm. There's three things song. that black people need to tell the truth about. What? One, yeah, one, right. Rodney King should have yeah. got an ass beat for driving drunk and being grown in a Honda. Uh, two, oh my God, OJ dude. did it. Oh, oh, OJ did it. Okay, that one's uh, pretty... Uh... Yo, he's got three. Well, oh, oh, two. Oh, okay, he's got yeah. two hot takes. He's got two hot takes, okay? Keep on walking. You wrong. You walking by yourself this time, pal. I ain't with you. I'll tell you one thing. You better not never let Jesse Jackson hear you talking about that. Man, fuck Jesse Jackson. <laughs> 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 He's so fucking funny, dude. And you oh, God, dude. It's too good. He's just pissing them all off. Yeah. Oh, jeez. I have never smiling much anybody just wanting to give me my money back, you know. The whole thing, frankly, vexes me. I don't even know what that means. All I'm saying is I don't have a <laughs> change of honesty heart. there. I had all day to think about it and lose my shop. I just I don't want to lose it this way. I'd be willing to call off the whole deal. If you were to give me my money by, say, uh, seven o'clock? So, no problem. I could do better than that. I'll give it to you right now. Oh no. Oh no. Does he have to earn that money? 40 G. Double? You expect me to pay you double by 7 o'clock? Come on, Mr. Wallace. Get out of my office. Oh fuck. That's just a. What the f. The thing is, though, he can't buy the shop off him. Because there was no contract, like no legal contract. So in a sense, it's not official, right? So there's nothing you can really fucking do about it. Well, you know, we could uh, send this guy after him. Ah, oh, fuck this guy, man. <laughs> fuck, dude. Oh, he's so fucked. <laughs> That's so clever! No fucking way! There's no fucking way he gets away with this. I, I, I no. What the hell am I gonna do? Hey, that's us, man. Come on, we gotta go. Forget about the cash. All right, you got to buy lunch. I don't have any money. Come on, let's go. Oh my god, dude! Oh, oh no! Oh, the machine broke, y'all. I said the machine broke! Good save, good save. I can't believe he got away with that. Uh-oh. You know what? Oh! Oh, oh my god! Oh, oh no. Baby? Excuse oh, me. Oh, fuck. I don't think flowers fix cheating. Not really, no. What, you don't understand English? 
Uh -huh. Wow, Ooh. that's so fucking rude. You're breaking up with me. You ain't even all that fine. You, you just average. I didn't mind at first. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean that. See, I want you. What do you, okay. What do you mean you didn't mean that? Wow. Oh, 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 shit. Oh, my God. A safari punch? What? Yeah, that regret. Mm. Oh shit! Oh! I think every black person should at least get a hundred thousand. Hundred thousand dollars? What do you think that's gonna do? That ain't gonna do nothing but make Cadillac number one dealership in the country. <laughs> This crack ass cracker gonna tell me I need a diploma. Now, right there, that's racism, that's classism, that's eroticism. Man, <laughs> eroticism? <laughs> we need reparations, all right? We need restraint. Restraint? Restraint. Man. Some discipline. Don't go out and buy a Range Rover when you're living with your mama. That's actually good advice. That is very good advice. Got some nerve bringing your ass back around here. Bam! <laughs> I got the job. Now I can put my little girl in real daycare. See, my sister-in-law been keeping up, but she a crackhead, and I can't have that. Thanks, Kyle. Keep the change. Yo, Lamar. Congratulations on your new job, man. Good to do it for a change. Take it easy. Thanks, Kyle. Come on. He gets it. He gets it. I sold the shop. You what? You mean like you don't own the shop? Oh, Kevin, man, Kevin, don't do this. Eddie, hey, can I talk to you, man? Eddie. Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Oh, no. I'm going to What? Oh, no. They're going to find the gun. Can I talk to you? That shit ain't necessary. Don't worry, I'll get back at you. Let me just get him squared away, all right? Relax. Rick, call me as soon as they let you use the phone. Oh, fuck. Dude, I uh, did not see that coming. Holy shit. It's like happening so fucking fast. Yeah, just when you think it can't get worse. Look, Calvin. I'll support you. You know that. If it's a studio, fine. You want to sell used hubcaps or, I don't know, thong underwear, whatever. I'm with you. You know that. Whatever it is you do, make it mean something to you. Where are you going? Be right back. Oh, shit, round two? Round two. I didn't do it. If I thought you did it, I wouldn't have never bailed you out. And I damn sure wouldn't be out here freezing my balls off. <laughs> here. Is that what you want? I want to throw your life away. And throw away the bail money. Mm. Mm. You know what? You know what? You know what, Cap? You know what? Just pull over. Just pull over. Pull over. That's it. Mm. <laughs> ah! Now that's a fire. Hey, they're man, still at it. Well, not got it, dog. I'm actually up, like, started again. quite impressed that they're struggling this much. This should be my tools, dog. This used to be my station right here. Mitchell, give it to me. Let me what the on. fuck is he doing? <laughs> Shop. I want my shop back. You got my money? I had to use it. Help my man Ricky get out of jail. That I get you all your money back. Wait, 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 let, 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 let me get this right. You come in here demanding to get back a barber shop that you don't even have anymore. You don't have the 40 grand to buy it back, and you don't even have the 20 grand I gave you this morning. 
Courage. Yeah. <laughs> what you going? Oh, okay. Huh? Well, shit. I got too much to lose. I can't leave here without it. Simply. Sure. I'm good. They go the thugs you want over there. Huh? Seven, right Fred. These dudes are fine. Right. Take it out. Go, go. Come Dude, on, man, when they find out there's no money inside. Come on, ah, my dog. Don't you ever do that shit again, man? Are you crazy? Remember who found this? Oh no. 50k reward? Get this fool started. <laughs> <laughs> King was a hoe. Oh, come oh, on. What? Look at this. Everybody. Look So come on, Luther King's birthday. I want everybody to take the day off and get your freak on. <laughs> this fucking dude. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Who drank my goddamn apple juice? Oh, oh shit. So we just finished watching Barbershop, and honestly, the movie was nothing I expected. No, I thought it was just going to be you know like a comedy of sorts, but it was very heartfelt. Yeah, very heartwarming. Honestly, yeah, like, but with a ton of incredibly good messages that you can grasp from the entire film. Several good messages. Uh, I, but, <sighs> I love how they basically portrayed a barbershop exactly as we know it. I don't know if all of them are like that, but even like the one we go to, we've been seeing the same barber since we were fucking kids. Yeah, because he was the guy that he said he was the guy who cut our grandfather's hair. Yeah, Tony. We we've been seeing this guy forever, and all we do whenever we go see Tony is we get our hair cut, we talk shit, we just talk shit, <laughs> we, and talk, we have a great time, and we, we just talk, talk shit about so, everyone oh, and everything. It is so fucking fun, man. Barber shops are fun as shit. Yeah, dude. I, I think like that's what makes the experience so great. It's not just the haircut. No. Nah, man it's so much you more know. it's an experience man it's a package yeah, it, deal the most important thing about a good barber is that you gotta be able to talk a good barber knows how to talk exactly than anything else they know mm. how to talk and dude it just makes the experience it's like like i just said you're not just there for the haircut you know you're there for the conversation for the good times yeah it's the full package of the experience man you just it's enjoyable all throughout you go to your bar barber and you look forward to going yeah you know you're gonna go and you're gonna talk some shit you're gonna have a great time I, what I liked about this movie as well, I, just, I liked how um, Calvin there, the, the main character, I like how he, it, it, how he actually, uh, he learned the beauty of the barber shop in itself, or like how much of a precious place it, it And not only that, for him. why his father did the things he did. Yeah. It's kind of like that guy who really needed the haircut. Like Lamar, was it? He, he just needed it to go and get his new, uh, get a new fucking job. That's all he needed yep. it for. He got it. He, Came back right away with the money and with a little extra too, so it kept the change and everything. Yep. You know, and he, Calvin and, made the he made the smart move, the big move. Because he realized, you know, to you, you're just giving a haircut, but to other people, like this is, means a lot. You know, this helps them. Yeah. Honestly, man, like it's relatable. When you get a haircut, you feel so much better. No, you generally do. It, you, you, it, I don't know what it is, but you feel good as fuck, man. Yeah. Oh, my God, you feel fresh. You feel nice. And I also like that. Well, Calvin, he, he went out of his way so hard to, like, distance himself from his father's legacy well, that he kept trying to find these, like, cash grab, like, easy, quick, like, ways to make money and different kind of ventures. And it's just, like, the whole time, dude, you had something perfect right in front of you the whole time. Yeah. I feel like, it, not even that, but a lot of people were, were comparing him to his father and stuff like that, right? Mm -hmm. I feel like something about that bothered him. Mm -hmm. Kind of like he wanted to be his own man, maybe. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And, like, he could still run the barbershop and do it in his own way. Yeah. Right? There was nothing wrong with that. But I felt like uh, he was just so caught up in trying to, like, maybe live up to his father's... I don't know. It, it, I think it's because, he, like he said, his, his father died broke. Yes. You know, and frustrated but, and struggled. Yes. You know, and, and that's why he didn't want to end up in the same place. And he thought he was like, no, dude, you saw what your father did. Learn from your father's mistakes. You don't have to end up in that same situation by doing this in career. You can run the business, but do it more smart this time. Yeah, you can you still know? keep the generosity, keep that kindness, but you know, do it in a way that 
it financially makes sense for you, you know? Yeah. You know, kind of like you can make like smart investments, like, you know, smart minor investments. You don't have to do it all the time. No. But don't be afraid to show kindness here and there when you believe it's an important yeah. moment to. You know, it was even nice that he even helped out uh, his employee there. He, he got the money to bail him out. You know, he used the 20K just to bail him out of jail and stuff like that. Yeah, he Ricky. Didn't have to, yeah, Ricky. He didn't have to fucking do it, man. No. No, that's a lot of money there. Yeah, and he decided but to use know, it to and get Ricky the out. Best, and you know what the best thing is? What saved him at the end of the day? What helped him? The fact he owned a barbershop and he knew the cop. That saved his ass there at the last moment. Turned out that the connections he grew in, in, in the relationships he made in that barbershop saved his ass at the very moment, in the last moment. Mm -hmm. You know? And it's kind of like, it's cool how it just comes all in full circle. Yeah, but in there's also other, like, small messages throughout, like, even with the other characters in the barbershop. Oh, yeah. Yeah, like, you know, with, with uh, Terry, her, it's like, you know, why oh she's God. always pissed off and such. You know, she's treated like shit, man. She's taken for granted. And, you know, and the one thing at that shop, she's like, she says, this is mine. And people just, they don't give a shit. They don't respect her. That's basically it. So I understand why she's pissed off. I'd be fucking pissed, too. It's more than just, it's more than just the, it's not just the apple juice. You know, it's there's the, a lot more that comes with it's that. It's because she's being disrespected in many ways, especially from her boyfriend, Kevin. The guy's a piece of shit. Yo, man. Oh, my God. The fact that he even came back to the, like, oh, jeez. The, the fact that he showed up to her workplace, like, bro, just fuck off, man. Don't yeah. come here anymore. And he had the nerve to say, oh, you ain't even that fine. So I was like, Bro, and he, then he's like, I didn't mean it. Bro, you just fucking said it. What do you mean you don't mean you, it? You just pulled the pin on the grenade. You yeah. can't put it back in. You're no, fucked. No, he said it with the... Uh, you can't do it. You're gone, dude. You're exploding right now. God damn, no, dude. That was a fucking dumb. stupid move. And not that, but the, how, like, everyone judged each other. Oh, yeah. You know, like, just because he's talking in a different way. Jimmy, you know, he's gone to college and that. And in a way, with how he was, he did talk like people were beneath him. You know? Yeah, he said he... Yeah, he kind of, like, had a bit of a sense of, um... What can I use? What's the word I'm looking for? Ah, fuck. Can't, I can't remember. I can't remember it, man. It was on the tip of my tongue and it's gone now. But yeah. yeah, he was talking very... You know, the thing is, he has a very good vocabulary. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't think he's using it in a way to sound condescending. I don't think that's his... I don't think that's his intention. No. I just think that that's how he talks. There's nothing wrong with that. No. You know, but he did assume... He made a lot of assumptions of a lot of people in that place. Yeah, especially when Ricky was talking about uh, reparations... And he realized that him and Jimmy realized, you know what? We actually see eye to eye on this topic. You yeah, know? We, have, we're, we have similar opinions on this. Yeah, Very and he was genuinely like applauding him and said, like, "Yeah, you know, like that's what you said was good." Like, he he kind of had the same idea and he said, "So he respected yeah. that opinion." And um, not only that, even to the uh, the white guy there, you know. Yeah. Do we ever get to hear his name? I don't know. If I, I did. don't remember. I didn't, I didn't pick it up. But, and, yeah. but like even him, he just basically straight up said, you know. I am who I am. You know, we don't know how he was brought up, the people he was around, his upbringing, no. and why. And you know, that's why people end up the way they are. You know, it's their it's their environment as they grow up. Yeah, their environment kind of dictates who they become in a sense. Yeah, it's very influential, and that he was judged heavily for like, oh, you know, you're trying to act black and stuff, and uh, it, which you know, it's just wrong to say. Yeah, you don't know how the way he grew up. No, he grew up in this environment and in this may probably the neighborhood yeah and you know this is the way people talk in this neighborhood so as you're growing up you kind of pick it all up yeah as a kid this is what you hear this is what you see eventually it's impressionable it, sticks. it sticks with you yeah, as a kid you're very impressionable and so like these even are gonna be with you even the, the, even when he said you know i'm blacker than you jimmy you know it, again it's just like it, it, that's wrong yeah you, you know just, be, just because jimmy he's proud of himself and he likes to speak with his vocabulary you know like the way he does and that that doesn't mean he's any less black. I think that's horribly wrong. Yeah. Uh, that that was wrong. And you know what? You can't dude? really use it like that. No. You, you know, you, you guys just talk different. There's nothing wrong with that, dude. No. It really isn't. Does it make you less or more than anything? No. Honestly. Just I be think, you. That's what matters. Yeah. You know? you, you're, you're, you're an individual. I think, like, judging your whole self-worth off of the way you fucking speak is stupid. Yeah. You know? Well, not even that, but judging your self-worth by uh, the way you speak or the way you look or the way you dress... Who fucking cares? At the end of the day, you are yourself, and that's what truly matters. It's the individuality that matters. Yeah, like, you know, you don't, know? like as long as you're not an asshole or a dumbass like Kevin, you're doing all right. Or, like, fucking JD and his little dumb crony. Oh, JD and his fucking... I, I can't remember the dumbass's name. He fucking lit fire to the motel I, I'm room. I'm sorry, but I've... You, oh, I, you know, God. You know, what, you know what, dude? It, it just... I've never seen such stupidity... <laughs> In my entire life, it's not and there even, was no money in there. It's not even stupidity. They could have just returned it. They could have just returned it. Say, hey, 50K. we found it. 
But that's it. That's the whole thing. Like they're just such idiots. They're that dumb. They, he broke his foot for this fucking thing, and he's going to prison for breaking his foot. Well, at least his little crony got a haircut. You know, wow. He, you know, he got a haircut before going to prison. That's cool. You know. Ah, oh, man. I, I don't know. Just it, it actually was just a really, really good movie, and I genuinely liked it. I agree. It was interesting how like I really thought I would see more Ice Cube, and I don't think we really got to see him as much. I think they gave a little bit. They give they, they gave gave a, a lot of love to a lot of the characters. Yeah, they, well, it's mostly Ice Cube. But, like they did no, actually, actually, not just that. They did. Ice, Ice Cube, yes, but I feel like they really made the. Uh, I think like, one of the biggest plot things that were always showcased was the ATM machine. Those two idiots. Those guys got a lot of screen time. I didn't expect them to get that much screen time, you know? No, but I kind of, that's what I respect about the movie, though. That it actually took the time to really, like, flesh out the characters all around. You know? It did really great. Yeah. The, with character development, you know, understanding each other better and stuff. Especially at the end there where, you know, Jimmy tells the guy, like, hey, cut my hair. You know, show me what you got. You know, fuck it. You know, that, it was a for, I think it was like a form of respect. Yeah, and he killed it, man. You know, like Jimmy him, who fucking him. patched that kid. Like, the look on that kid's face when he got patched. Dude, the kid looked like he was about to fucking cry, man. Oh, man. I, oh, man. You can't blame that kid, The man. thing is, it's like, you know what? I would have just shaved the kid's head. Straight up just shaved his head, man. You're going to leave him with a patch in the fuck of his head? Dude, why would you do that? Shaving the head's an easy fix. Just do it. I'd rather be called Baldy than Patchy. Oh, 100%. Honest to God. 100%. But, you know, all in all, good movie. Solid movie. Far better than I expected. I genuinely loved it. And, you know, Keith David, can't go wrong. I just love that guy. Uh, he's, like, the greatest thing ever. Dude, what a voice on that, man. Holy hell. When he talks, you Dude, know it's him. It's, like, right away. It's, like, instant Keith David's him. Like, I, I always know it's him. But uh, on that note, guys, I think we're going to peace on out. Good movie. Good day. Yes, very good day. Very good movie. I just want to say I love you all. And I hope you guys are having an amazing time. That's it. We're going to peace on out. Honestly, I, I kind of like... My brain went dead there. <laughs> I, I can tell. We're going to peace on out like JD's foot. Adios. See you guys. Oh, shit, dude. Ooh. Okay. Can we just say one thing? The scene where it showed the foot kind of dent, that looked like his foot completely broke. The fact that he was sh like just shuffling sh around. Shuffling or hobbling around. I don't know. That's That was like the gr one of the grossest things I've ever seen, and it wasn't even meant to be that gross. It, it's not a horror movie or anything, but that was disgusting looking. It's just... When you see it, you can feel that. Yeah, that's how bad it looked. All right, anyways, <laughs> like JD's foot, we out. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, get him, man.